Good morning friends. Welcome to Pannika Tutorials YouTube channel. In the last video, I have discussed about operator of grammar and then I have discussed about operator precedence parser. I have taken a one grammar. For that grammar, I have constructed the operation relational table. From the operation relational table, I have discussed about the operator precedence parser and I have got the parsing tree. Okay, what is the grammar we have taken? We have taken the grammar as E determines E plus E or E multiplication E or ID. Am I right? For that grammar, we have constructed the operational relation table. What is the drawback of the operational relation table? If you have n terminals, the operational relation table will have n square entries. If you consider this one, we have four terminals we got 16 entries. So the operational relational table will consume more space. To avoid that problem, we have discussed that we have a operator functional table. So in this video, I want to discuss about how to convert the operator relational table to operator functional table. Is it clear? So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. Okay, so to do the operator functional table, let me define this is a function f and this is a function g. So each one here I will represent as a nodes. Okay, f id, f plus, f star and f dollar. Is it clear? Are you able to understand it or not? Similarly, at the column side, I will take the vertices as g id g plus g multiplication g dollar with the two functions i am representing the all the terminals okay now we need to construct the graph if i want to construct the graph i need to find the edges how to find the edges is that look at this one this is not defined so we will not have a edge from fid to gid now take this one fid plus and g plus take the fid and g plus okay what is the symbol is the greater than symbol is there so you will have a edge from just simple draw a line what is this line is representing fid to g plus so you will have a edge from fid to g plus that is what similarly let's take this one you have f plus okay g multiplication what is it it is a less than so just draw a straight line now look at it what is the edge it is saying the edge is going from g star to f plus is it clear are you able to understand so this is the way you will identify the direction of the edges so let me complete the from this relation table to construct the graph okay so f id to g star you will have a edge similarly you will have a edge from f id to g dollar am i right or wrong similarly if you look at f plus and g id you will have a write it here if you are confused you can write it here f plus and g id you look at the symbol and just draw a line so meaning is that you have a edge from g id to f plus write it g id to f plus is it clear similarly f plus and g plus you have a edge from f plus okay you have a edge from f plus to g plus f plus to g plus you have a edge similarly f plus and g dollar you will have a edge from g star to i'm talking about f plus and g star this one so as there is an edge towards the f plus so i can say that g star to f plus you will have a edge are you able to understand g star to f plus you will have a edge similarly if you look at this entry f plus and g dollar from whom to whom you will have a edge f plus to g dollar f plus to g dollar you have a edge is it clear are you able to understand so the two rows are completed come to the third row f star and g id which one from which one to which side you will have a edge you will have a g id to 
f star g i d to f star you have a edge okay similarly f star and g plus from whom to whom you will have a edge f star to g plus f star to g plus let me write with a black pen okay is it clear are you able to understand similarly f star and g star from whom to whom you will have edge f star to g star write the edge f star to g star you have a edge f star and g dollar from whom to whom you will have a edge f star to g dollar write that one f star to g dollar is it clear now look at this one f dollar and g id whom to whom you will have edge g id to f dollar you will have edge g id to f dollar you will have a edge similarly g plus to f id you will have a edge g plus to f id you will have a edge similarly g star to f dollar you will have a edge g star to f dollar we have edge so we have taken this relational table and we have converted into a graph after converting this graph we need to check whether any cycles are there if there are any cycles we cannot construct the functional table for this relational table if you check it we will not have any cycles i have already checked it okay we will not have any cycles once we got that we don't have any cycles we can start computing the functional table the functional table will consist of entries as f g and all the terminals id plus multiplication and dollar if you look at the functional table how many entries are there you have eight entries are there in the relational table you have 16 entries and we have reduced to eight entries is it clear now we need to find the values at the appropriate location let me compute the value at the fid how can i compute the value at the fid is from the fid you can have more than one path fid you can go to g plus from g plus you can go to f dollar similarly fid2 you can go to g star from g star you can go to f dollar from fid you can go to g dollar from g dollar you are not able to go anywhere so from start from the fid find the longest path find the length of the longest path that value we will keep here is it clear suppose let me give an example fid to g dollar i am going from g dollar can i go anywhere you check it whether any outgoing edge from g dollar no there is no outgoing edge because all the edges are incoming there are incoming edges are there there are no outgoing edges from g dollar you are not able to go anywhere then the length of this one is one similarly f id i will consider and then i will go to g plus look at from g plus where i can go from g plus these are the incoming edge what is the outgoing edge is going to f dollar if i go there what is the length of this path is that one and two so if i go the length is two now let me find the alternative path from fid i can go to g star i can go to g plus i can go to g multiplication i have already checked with the g star and g plus sorry g dollar and g plus now let me check with the g star from fid i will go to g multiplication i am calling it as a star for convenience you should be called as a multiplication so this is the one from g plus where i can go from g plus i oh sorry from g star sorry for it from g star i can go to f dollar from f dollar i cannot go anywhere let me check any other alternate is there i can go to f plus okay from f plus where i can go i from f plus i can go to g dollar similarly i can go to g plus if i go to g dollar from there i cannot go anywhere let me see i can i go to g plus i am going from f plus to g plus from g plus i am going to f dollar so this is the longest path find the length of it 1 2 3 4 this is the longest path from fid you write the value as 4 here is it clear are you able to understand similarly we will compute the 
for the GID. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? If I compute for the GID, because this entry I need to find, let me compute the GID here. Okay. From GID, where I can go? I can go to F star. I can go to F dollar. If I am going to F dollar, there only I will stuck. Then the length will be 1. Let me go for the F star. Okay. I am going to F star. From F star, I can go to where? I can go to G plus. I can go to G star. I can go to G dollar. If I am going to G dollar, there only I will stuck. From G dollar, I cannot go anywhere. Similarly, if I go to G star, from G star, where I can go? Again, I can go to F plus. If I go to F star to G plus, from G plus, I can go only to F dollar. Again, I will stuck. So let me take the path as G star. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? From G star, take this one. From G star, you can go to F plus. Okay. From F plus, you can go to G plus. From G plus, you can go to F dollar. Am I right? Compute the length of this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the value 5. Are you able to understand? Because already we computed that. From G star, we can go. This is the longest path. So I have written that path directly. So you got the 4 here and 5 here. Similarly, if you want to compute the F plus, check the F plus. From F plus, you have 1, 2. So F plus, you have the value 2. Similarly, if you take the G plus, from G plus, this is the value. G plus to F dollar, you have the length is 1. Similarly, if I compute the F star, F star is the longest path. 1, 2, 3, 4. I got the value 4. If I take the G star from here, 1, 2, 3. You can check it. Or if you are not, had, means not have confidence on me, you can check it like this. But already, this is the longest path I got from this one. I am using it. F dollar. Where is F dollar? F dollar, there is no outgoing edge, so 0. G dollar. From G dollar, there is no outgoing edge, so it is 0. Are you able to understand it or not? So, from the relational table, I got the functional table. Now, you can ask me, Sir, how can I find the whether I have to perform the push or I have to perform the pop operation? Because from this table, we have already discussed how to do the operator precedence parser. Now, how to do for this one? If it is less than, I would have performed the push operation. If it is greater than, I will perform the pop operation. So, how I will get here? Suppose, let's take that I have plus and plus. Now, this plus you will consider it as F plus, this plus you will consider it as G plus. What is the length of the F plus is 2 and what is the length of this one is 1. So, 2 is, which value is greater? 2 is greater than 1. So, you will have plus and plus, you will have the greater than. So, this plus you are giving the more priority. Similarly, if you have another doubt, you can check it. Even plus and plus you look at, you have the greater than symbol. Similarly, F star and G I D. Okay, look at what is the value in the F star. The value here it is 4 and G I D. G I D is 5. So, you will have grad less than symbol. So, like that we will have the relation between the two terminals from this functional table. So, with this example, I hope you have understood how to convert the relational table to graph from the graph to the functional table because the functional table is occupying less space that is the only advantage but finding the functional table is little bit complex as compared to the relational table i hope you have understood the concepts whatever i have discussed if you still have any doubts feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours thank you for watching my video have a nice day